It's a great day for an incineration. What's up YouTube, Zero here, and today I'm showcasing the Rogue Imp Legendary Assault Rifle in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the Rogue Imp with the statistics on the Rogue Imp that I have. Then we're going to get in some more gameplay, and I'm going to talk about the gun, what I love and what I hate about it. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to get into the fate or hate. Is this gun fated to be in your collection to help you save the Wonderlands? Or are you going to hate it and should you sell it immediately after finding this gun? I'm also going to tell you how to obtain the Rogue Imp in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Without further ado, let's get into the overview of the Rogue Imp. Now, mine is the Umbral Rogue Imp of Alarm. The damage is 330 times by 2. The accuracy is 70%. Handling is 60%. It's 3 seconds for the repair time. 6.56 shots per second for the fire rate. And the shots to break is 2. Of course, it's a great day for an incineration. And I'm dealing 363 damage per second with a 12% chance of fire damage, which makes it highly effective versus flesh. My Rogue Imp is enchanted while action skill is active. It increases my dark magic damage by 50%. And the gun damage is increased by 92%. And the manufacturer of the Rogue Imp is a Skulldugger. Now that's very important, so let's talk about that first. The MO of Skull Dugger weapons is that you don't have a magazine in which you reload. You have a shots to break. So if you build up your shots enough, the gun will break and you'll have to cool it down. That's the unique aspect of the Rogue Imp, is that when you do break the weapon or break the magazine, it then sends out two or three dragons that seek out enemies and deal damage. So with the Rogue Imp being a Skulldugger manufacturer, you actually want to break the gun so as you are fixing your weapon, it deals even more damage with those dragons that it sends out, which is actually a really unique and very cool trait of the Rogue Imp. Now, of course, the shots to break is very low on this weapon. However, as you are fixing the weapon, because it sends out those dragons to deal damage, it really lessens the blow of having to repair your weapon. It's almost as if you don't have to worry about breaking the gun at all, because you are going to be constantly dealing damage, whether it's through your shots or whether it's through fixing the weapon and sending your dragons out from it, which is a really unique and very cool trait that I love. The iron sights on the gun, the ones I have, are actually really nice. The recoil on the gun is minimal, making the Rogue Imp very easy to utilize. So being an assault rifle, one that while doesn't have a lot of shots until you break, does deal constant damage and being very easy to use, it's a really fun gun to have. On top of that, dealing the fire damage, which is super effective against flesh, deals even more damage for the Rogue Imp, making it a very nice weapon. Now, where you can find this, you actually can just get this from a random drop in the overworld. So you're going to have to be running around grinding and hopefully you'll get this legendary weapon to drop for you. There is no specific location. I may have gotten it doing chaos runs or in the overworld, but you can get this from the overworld as a random drop. Now, fate or hate, should you put this in your stockpile of guns to use to save the world or are you going to hate it? This is a gun I absolutely recommend putting in your arsenal. It's absolutely fantastic. The unique trait of sending out dragons as you're fixing the gun because it overloaded is awesome, and you can constantly deal damage with the Rogue Imp. So I absolutely recommend utilizing this gun 
it has helped me in chaos runs, just grinding side quests, or just having some fun with friends. So I recommend when you find this gun, hold on to it. Make sure you don't sell it back. Let me know in the comment section if you've gotten this gun and what you think of it. Do you love it as much as I do or did you trash it? I definitely recommend holding on to it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands content. Until next time, peace.